And this is ground sage. You gotta work real fast with the beeswax while it's nice and hot. Really reach to the bottom. Make sure that all of the powder is stirred in. I just need 10 of these. Okay, so when you see that the beeswax starts to turn a little yellow around the edges, that's when it's safe to carefully pick up the tray and go put it in the freezer. And that's always the best way with candles, I've found, to cool them off evenly and make sure that they're safe to pop out of the molds, no matter if you use plastic or silicone. So I'll be back when I can pop them out. Okay, I'm back with the little bottle tarts, and they didn't take long at all in the freezer, like five minutes. And so I used sage, as I showed in the last scene of making them, mostly because of, when I think of Sally, I think of her steadiness, her wisdom, her total opposite of Jillian, who was so about love and so passionate. She wanted to stay grounded and protected from all of the people in town that were not so nice to them and judged them very harshly. And also the bottles represent in the book and in the movie, she has her own, actually, I think it might just be in the movie now that I think about it, but she had her own recipes for soap and lotions. And she had her own apothecary shop, which was kind of the thing that brought her out of her depression following her husband's death so I think of her with these bottles, and I'm pretty sure her bottles were either green or brown. So so I'll show you some footage of melting these little tarts. So again, just like the Jillian soap, you would take off the bottle before you use the soap and make a little wish for either wisdom or protection or both and pop one of these in a tart burner or throw it into a fire if you're lucky enough to have a fire pit outside or a fireplace and move on with the rest of the soap. Hello, so tonight I'm going to be making the first of the October soaps. I have all my butters and oils melted and mixed with a lye water solution to a pretty good trace. And I'm going to add some French green clay that is mixed with some olive oil. Just going to go for kind of a light green. Keep splashing. I'm trying not to. So 
the first two soaps of October's I'm very excited about. And they are based on one of my favorite writers. Um, I have three favorites of fiction that I read. Um, mostly I like to read a lot of nonfiction and history and stuff like that. But one of my favorite fiction, my f absolute favorite fiction writer is Alice Hoffman. And this one is for Practical Magic. And the two sisters that are the stars of that book and the movie. And the first one tonight is going to be for Sally Owens. Now, I had read the book ahead of time, but the first time I ever moved away from home when I was, like, in my late teens, I missed my family terribly. And my sister and I are so much like Jillian and Sally, it's just kind of not even funny. She has strawberry blonde hair and blue eyes, and I have black hair and green eyes. And I am exactly like Sally in almost every way, and she's almost exactly like Jillian in every way. And we had similar things that happened to us as far as the great loves in their lives. My first great love died, just like Sally's. And my sister's was unfortunately abusive. So both of us since have gone on from that many years ago, but just amazing how that paralleled. And so when that movie came out, I was working at a movie theater in Arizona at the time because I was traveling around a lot. And that, I just, I missed her even more just watching that movie. And I got to watch it almost every day because when you work at a movie theater, you have to go in there and clean up afterwards and you get to see quite a bit of the movie. <laughs> so I just watched it a lot. And I still watch it occasionally, and she does too. And we think of each other when we watch it. And the book is a little bit different, actually. There's a few plot twists that are different in the movie compared to the book. You know, I, I don't really like the part in the movie, quite honestly, where they do a little bit of some darker magic, and they don't do that in the book. So I do prefer the book better. I really love how Alice Hoffman writes, how she describes things. She sucks you in so quickly to a story, and she doesn't make big elaborate sentences. She just describes things to where you just want to just keep reading and not stop. And that's one of the things I love about her the most. So I've mixed this with a little bit of some French green clay. And while I was talking, I put in the essential oil is bergamot mint, which is actually not a blend. Some people think it is, but it's not related to regular bergamot at all. It doesn't smell fruity. It smells more minty and herbaceous. And I thought it would be perfect for Sally because she, in the movie, had an apothecary shop with lots of lotions and all of her little special things that she made. Which, again, how funny is that? that that's what I ended up doing, too. So we are ready to pour. And I'm going to pour just a little bit first because I'm going to put some things in the middle here. And I don't want them to go completely to the bottom. So put, that should be good for right now. And it's a little loose, so I'll wait and come back when I can put the pieces inside. They're going to sink a little bit, but that's okay. Boy, this essential oil is one of those ones that smells even better when it gets mixed in with the soap batter. The natural smells of the oils and the soap batter and the cocoa butter and everything, it just enhances it. Because in the bottle, I thought, boy, that's pretty strong, but now that I'm smelling it in this, oh, it smells so good. Okay, so that's about as close together as I can get them. I might have a gap in there when I'm slicing but 
I can show you what to do when that happens. And I'm gonna show you tomorrow what this is gonna represent. So pour it carefully so it just kind of flows over. Okay, it's starting to float up, so I'll make sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's get you back this way. Okay. Perfect. So I don't think this is going to take long before I can add what I want to put on top. Okay, so I think it's ready, solid enough to put the pieces on. Um, there'll be more to add on to the front tomorrow after it's cut as well. And something else to do with the little piece that I put inside. So it occurred to me while I was waiting that if you don't know the book and the movie, you have no idea really what I'm even talking about. So the Owen sisters are good witches, and that's the theme of this month's soaps, is good witches. Because ever since I was little, I've always kind of liked the more innocent side of Halloween. I love to answer the door to, for trick-or-treaters. I loved to trick-or-treat when I was little. My younger sister and I, <laughs> we trick-or-treated till we were teenagers because it was the advantage of being short and skinny. <laughs> we could pull it off. Anyway, I, I love all aspects of it like that for being for kids. I'm not so much into scary movies and this super scary aspects of things so um, my favorite always was to read like books about good witches like and I'll you'll see later on this month I loved the Dory books I loved the worst witch and her books and that's what this is about with these two Sally and Jillian were good witches they didn't mean any harm and they came from a family of good witches that just wanted to help people. So the marble that I'm putting on top for her, for Sally, is one that marble collectors call owl. And it is like a turquoise with black and white swirled inside and outside of them. They're very, very pretty. And I figured an owl would be perfect for, for her because she was so steady and wise. And then these are the bottles, again, that I made in the beginning of the video, the little wax tarts. And they should have gone on first, I realize, because now I may not have room. <laughs> okay. So hopefully these will pop off easy for people when you buy the soap and you get to pop the little bottle off to melt. And of course, you know, rinse the soap off of it before you melt it. And it's full of sage, so it'll be like saging your house as it melts. I like this even better this way because now the marble almost looks like a beautiful glass stopper on the bottle. That's even better. I didn't even think of that. See, soap, soap just works its way out itself like that. We just guide it. It does its own thing sometimes. Make sure all of these have made contact with the soap. All right, so this is good for tonight, and in the morning we'll cut Sally, 
<laughs> that doesn't sound good. In the morning, we will cut this and add the stamp and add one more little thing to the front. Okay, so I'm back in the morning to cut the Sally Owen soap. That's not too exciting in the inside right now, but it will be after I finish completing what I want it to look like. I think I'm going to have to cut from the other direction here so I don't mess up the bottles. Just because the little part on my slicer is going to make a mark on them. Right. So next, I'm going to use my little tiny stamps to stamp the book. That's what this is. Now, in the books and the or the book and the movie, the sisters were taken care of by their aunts, who helped people in town with all kinds of problems and they had a big book in their kitchen that had all of their spells in it to help people. So this is going to represent that but also because Sally loved to read and she always had her nose in a book whereas Jillian Chase the boy she always had her nose in a book. Now we can't see it too well right now but I'm going to add something to that in a bit to make those letters stand out. So the next part, I have some of the melted soap, like soap dough from the edges of the soap itself, mixed with very hot water. And we're gonna add the next part, which is crucial to representing Sally too. One of my favorite scenes in the movie is Two scenes actually is when she's a little girl she impresses her sister by being able to blow on a unlit candle and when she blows on it the flame lights and then she does the same thing again as an adult and blows away her children who didn't know how powerful she was so this is going to be the candle These little flames are very tiny, so they're hard to get to stick. There we go. All right. So it's nearly done. When the candles all dry and the flames dry and stick more, then I'll do the very last part, which is going to make the letters stand out on the book. And then here, of course, is the top. Okay, so now I have a dry brush and just some arrowroot powder, which is a very fine powder. And put some on your brush and then kind of tap it off. And you want to go at an angle. Go back and forth a bit to try to fill 
the letters with powder. You can put it on heavy at first just to fill it into where you stamped and then give it a little blow and blow it off. And I have another one too. The S isn't so good on the beginning of that one. So there you go. So Sally Owens and Jillian Owens and Mildred Hubble will be available on the next full moon which is October 20th. Shop links will be listed below. And if you like this video and you like all of the naturally colored soaps that I make and candles and bath treats, please think about checking out some of my other videos and subscribing. I make new videos every month with new designs and restock the ones that people like the most. Take care.